Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to use quite a few decks of cards today to connect with the energy around you, your person, the journey, and also to find out what you're feeling and what they are feeling, what you're thinking, what they are thinking, and what you and they want each other to know. So we're going to connect with the Twin Flame Animal Oracle. I'm also going to bring in the gorgeous Twin Flame Guardian Angel Oracle by Angali. I'm going to bring in the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine Silence Counterpart decks. And I'm going to bring in the Divine Masculine Ego Struggles and Healing. So we're going to connect with all these energies to see what's going on. And if you would like more of a personalised reading with me, you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around you today? So we've got a card jumping out there and a card sticking out. The energy around your person today... We've got one card and the energy around the connection. Wow, flying out. Look at that. Amazing. So there's messages coming out straight away. Now, we're also going to use the ego struggles and healing deck. So what are you struggling with today? What are you struggling with today? Clear card, please. Angels. Wow. There it is. And when that happens, you know, sometimes cards throw themselves out to make one card known. And that's what happened there. So we've got one card for the energy. What's the energy around them? What are they struggling with? So we've actually got three cards for them. And the energy around the connection. The energy around the connection. We've got two cards there. So this brings up struggles, things that's being dealt with and healing. Now we're going to bring some in some angel guidance with the um, Twin Flame Guardian Angel cards. So what's the angel guidance for you today regarding your divine connection? What's the angel guidance for you today? Two cards coming out here, a few cards. These are also some of the decks of cards I use in the Lover's Path reading when I do a personal reading. What's the energy for your person? There we go. And the energy around the connection itself. So we've got quite a few cards coming out today to bring in guidance. Now, to connect with your emotions, you know, what you go through in the silent times, what you may struggle with or what you're overcoming, we're going to bring in the Divine Feminine in the silence. Look how big this deck is. So... What do you need to know today? Or what are you going through or thinking? So we've got one card making itself known. And we've got two cards. Two cards sticking out of the deck there. There's also a card moving on the front. So some of these will resonate with you. Maybe some won't more than others. But take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And then we're going to use the Divine Mask and the Silence. Look how big this deck is. To connect with what they may be going through or struggling with. So I've got one card that jumped out there, one card that jumped on the floor. And then for the energy around the connection, look at that. What if you don't want me? Wow, that's their fear. We're going to use for the journey, the divine feminine transformation affirmations. you are just guiding me to this straight away. It's got one card jumping out there. Okay, let's see what's going on. So let's start with your person because, you know, clearly that card really wanted to show itself to you. And that's what they are thinking right now. What if you don't want me? Why do you want me? You know, they go through so many insecurities about their own body, about their lifestyle, the job that they do or don't do, the habits they have, you know, things that they think you won't like about them. What if you don't like the real me? What if you don't want me? What if I make lots of changes in my life and then you reject me or you realize it's not me you want? And it's all what if scenarios. It's all fear based energies. You know, what if you don't want me? It's a future energy connected with uncertainty. So they are letting you know in this card that they do struggle with uncertainty too. They do worry that you don't want them. They do go through their own fears about this. But they're also always receiving signs that they belong with you. And that's what they're saying. What if you don't want me? And when they start feeling that way, the universe will buoy their faith with the sign. The universe will bombard them with signs and synchronicities about you that show them that you belong together. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring in my new deck, the Twin Flame Signs and Synchronicity Oracle, to see what signs they are seeing about you. Look at this, we've got sunflowers. So they may see sunflowers because they remind them of you. You know, you have to remember that you are the light. You are the sun to them. You are the beautiful sunlight. So a sunflower represents that because it stands tall, it's strong, it's powerful, and it stands out from the crowd. And that's what I feel they want you to know. They know that you stand out from everybody else. Nobody compares to you. 
So the message coming through here for you is stand tall, embrace who you are, embrace where you are in your life. Everything is working out. And also when they see a sunflower, they are being reminded to stand tall in their life, to embrace who they are, where they are. Instead of sitting around worrying, thinking, what if you don't want me to recognize why you do? Now, the angel guidance for them is intimacy. They may be struggling with this. They may be struggling to show you intimacy, to open their heart. They may be holding that back. Or they may not be able to show you intimacy because of their situation they are in. So intimacy is the key to enjoying a beautiful, long-lasting relationship. It's safe for you to let your guard down and open your heart to deep intimacy with your person. So what the angels are showing them, what the romance angels specifically or letting them know is that it's safe for them to let that guard down, to take that mask off, to let down their walls and their barriers, to unblock you, to move forward, to reach out, to communicate, to open their heart to you and to show you how they really feel so you can be intimate with each other. And that may be something they're struggling with because they may be trapped in a situation. So they want to be intimate with you, but if they are trapped in a situation, they won't be able to because of that. And that's what needs to be healed first. So they're saying, I feel trapped in this life that I'm currently living. So this could be a karmic situation. It could be fear. It could be insecurity. It could be a situation they need to release. And your person saying, I feel trapped in my head. I feel trapped in my mind. And I feel trapped in my thoughts. I'm working on freeing myself from it all to find peace in my life so I can also find my way to where I am and where I'm meant to be. And they are meant to be with you. So some of them feel trapped in their situation or in their head and that's what they're healing. Just because you don't yet see it in the physical or you don't know what's really going on in my 3D world, it doesn't mean healing is not happening. I am healing at my own pace. So remember your person is teaching you to have faith in the love, to trust the power of divine timing, to trust the process of this process, to trust the process of the life, to be patient and understanding and have empathy instead of judging them or blaming them or struggling. So they are healing whatever they are trapped in. And that's the truth. The truth is that they've hidden away from their truth for too long by not admitting certain things to you, not admitting certain things to themselves or to others. It's time for that to change. So your person is saying, it's time for me to change this so I can be true to myself, be true to you and feel free in my life to stand in my truth. Isn't that powerful? And the animal around them that's assisting here is the cougar. Okay, the power of the, the cat there saying to you, age gaps or other differences serve the connection. These prove that love has no barriers and truly does conquer all. So if there's an age gap between you, a physical age gap, or there's something else going on, which means they may feel spiritually immature compared with you. They may have some growing up to do, or there's differences in your religion or you know, the color of your skin or where you come from or any of these things, whatever the differences are, they are there to prove to the world and to each other that love conquers all. So really what your person is saying is age is illusion. The age gaps, the differences, they serve our connection. It's not those things that are keeping me away. It's my own fears and insecurities and being in fear that you don't want me. Maybe I feel that you don't want me because I'm different than you. Or I have an age gap or there's other things going on. So remember, always see beyond the physical world. Now, what are you going through today? You're saying your voice soothes my soul. So really all you want is communication. You want to hear their voice. You want to connect with them. You want to hear their voice and connect with them because it soothes your soul. It makes you feel better because you feel more relaxed when you're in communication because you feel at peace. And you're also saying you destroyed me. But remember, they didn't destroy you. You destroyed yourself by allowing yourself to feel destroyed. Destruction comes to rebuild. So if there was a destruction energy, it's happening to rebuild you. And you're saying you live in me. And you recognize that more and more that you are one, that you are connected. And that's why you know and recognize you can never let them go. 
You can never move on. You can move on from the struggle around the connection, but not the connection itself. So the angels are reminding you it's divine love. So if you feel that you've been destroyed in this connection, it's building your strength of character. It's building your warrior spirit. It's making you stronger. So instead of focusing on the negatives or the pain or the destruction, focus on the divine love that you share. No matter what the outward appearance is, let love lead you effortlessly into union. Union is a permanent relationship. Let this flow naturally and effortlessly because it's destiny. It's destined for you to be together. So the angels are saying to you, beloved one, we are so happy to confirm what you already know deep in your heart without the ego or the struggle or the gossip. You are destined, there you go, motorbike, speed. You are destined to come together with your person in this lifetime. So rejoice, be happy and get some rest. You know, if you feel like you've been trying too hard or you're tired and drained, get some rest because you've been shown by heaven it's happening now. You've been worrying and working way too hard. So you may be worried about your job. You may be worried about finances. Or you may feel like you've been overgiven in this connection. So the angels are asking you to rest your body, to take a break, because you'll be happy that you did. Especially if you're dealing with ascension or fear. And look at this, I love you. Your person wants you to know this. Your person, your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever label you are giving your special person, they want to relay an important message to you today. Always remember that I love you. Isn't that beautiful? And that really heals your inner child because you're learning right now to connect with your inner child, to heal that, to give back to you. So you're learning to connect to your inner child to bring out in a positive way your innocence, your creativity, your playfulness and your childlike wonder, all of which childhood wounding and programming have stolen away from you. And that's when you feel abandoned or you feel hurt or you take things personally. It's your inner child wanting love. So if you feel that's happening, shield yourself. Call an Archangel Michael to shield your energy. Don't let others drag you down or suck you dry. And this could be the karmic situation. It could be negative people around you. People saying it's not real. Trust your psychic spiritual power. You are cosmic divine feminine. You are cosmic and magical. So allow your connection to the divine, to God, the creator, the universe, to change your life. And when you get it right with yourself and source, you get it right with your person. So the energy around your connection today is to know that you are blessed. Your person feels blessed because you love them and you feel blessed because they love you, but feel blessed because this connection is real and true. And you have to connect with your own discernment to know that. It's time to sit quietly and think and discern the truth within your heart about your journey. You know in your heart it's real and true. In doing this, you can confidently, confidently take the next steps needed towards your union, which means trust what you feel, trust what you know. And if you're struggling with that because of the ego, breathe. Take some deep breaths in and out and be still. The angels say we know and understand the intensity of this journey. Breathing exercises or meditation will help you to keep calm and that will bring in balance because you're both currently healing and releasing the past to become more balanced within you whilst also working on finding balance in your outer world. And you're also both working on self-love. So breath work will heal you and help you to love yourself and reconnect with source. So you're both learning to love yourselves in ways that you've never known before. And you've both opened yourselves up to that too, through each other and this love. You're both learning to listen to your heart. You're both learning to forgive. You're both learning to heal yourselves, to release the past and to walk away from certain things and people and to be there for yourself. This is a completely new phase in both of your lives, but you both realize the importance of truth and truly loving yourself. And that's what you're working on. So the angels are guiding you to fly higher. Something is trying to get your attention. Ask yourself what that is as adjustments are required. And I feel what you're trying, what you're trying to be shown or what you're being shown is to make space, to make room for them in your life, to make room for each other, to make room for more in your life by clearing out the clutter, 
clearing it out within you and around you to feel at peace, getting rid of the negatives, removing toxic people, creating the way, making space in your home, your environment, your life for each other and give me fear. And it can be very fearful to let go of things you've always had or things you've had for a while. Even an item of clothing, it can bring up fear and dread when you think about giving it away. So make space for each other and use your cosmic and psychic powers to connect. So if you're masculine watching this and you're thinking, what if my feminine doesn't want me? They absolutely do regarding no matter what differences, age gaps, anything else. And if you're a feminine and you're stressing thinking, you know, what if you destroyed me? <clears throat> they give me a block. <clears throat> you destroyed me by blocking me, ignoring me, ghosting me. Remember, it's only your inner child that's feeling that fear. The truth is, not only is this divine love, but they love you and they want you to know that today. So remember how blessed you are instead of how stressed you are. Focus on peace. And I feel if you're shown sunflowers, it's a huge sign of this growing love. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.